Hi guys, I'm Mathir for Unbox Indian and for quite some time my this laptop is heating up like crazy. Easily reaching up temperatures of 104 degrees Celsius at full load within minutes and even doing bare minimum tasks like web browsing, using word document or watching video will result in very high fan noise which is not only very annoying but also taxing on the battery life too. And to solve this issue, I actually got this liquid metal thermal paste from AliExpress. As all over the internet people were claiming to get as much as 20 degree drop in from their existing temperature, which is great. So I thought why shouldn't I give it a try myself. So here in this package we get this liquid metal in this tiny syringe. Then we have a brush to apply this liquid metal. And finally some alcohol wipes and that's everything in here. But before using it you guys should know there are few downsides of using liquid metal like liquid metal is electrically conductive so it can easily kill your system if not applied properly. Not only that it is also highly corrosive to aluminium and to copper to some extent in a longer run. And due to these reason, I have been holding this liquid metal for quite some time. However, as summer rolls in, none of other thermal paste seems to work on this old laptop and eventually leaving us at temperature where you can literally boil water. Now enough chit chat, let's jump right into this video and test whether this liquid metal will work for us or not. Now once we have access to our CPU by taking apart our laptop and remove all old thermal paste from CPU as well as from our heatsink, we are almost ready to apply this thermal paste. But before doing so, we need to apply some sort of protective coating on this open circuit of CPU in case if liquid metal ever gets leaked out. Because laptop is going to move a lot and best choice here is to apply some sort of conformal coating but it's kind of a hard to get due to certain global situations so I'm going to apply this transparent nail polish all over except these dye area. Once nail polish is dried up we can start applying our liquid metal. For this you can take a drop of this liquid metal and then use a cotton swab or included brush to apply a thin layer on the CPU dye as well as on the heatsink to actually work. This is something I have personally tested and it's important to apply liquid metal on the both side. Now putting everything back together and doing some stress tests using Intel XTU at an ambient temperature of around 30 degrees Celsius and I got these results. It seems to indicate it didn't work. I'm still getting extreme temperature and thermal throttling issue. So, after some hair pulling, I figure out that nail polish might not be a very good heat conductor. So, I remove all the nail polish using IPA and then this time only applied liquid metal for the testing purposes. Now, putting back together everything and doing a stress test again with the same test condition gives us these results. Which is not great. We are still reaching high temperatures of 101 degrees Celsius occasionally. With most of the time it hovering around 92 to 96 degrees Celsius at full load, which is still higher than expected. But on the plus side, thermal throttling is completely gone, which is great. So the final conclusion is kind of a mix. It did and didn't work for me. On the one hand, we didn't see any massive 10 to 20 degree temperature drop. While on the other hand, the biggest change I have noticed is with the fan noise, which is almost gone. You can barely notice it. It's only heard when CPU hits temperatures of around 100 plus degrees Celsius for few seconds. Another thing that I have noticed is the battery life of the laptop, which seems to improve a lot. So the final word is unless and until you already have a decent cooling system in place like this recent laptop, which I don't have in this old one you might not notice much of a temperature drop. 
but on the other hand it did improve this laptop fan performance and the battery life too so it's up to you whether it's worth taking the risk or not. So after some consideration, I made a barrier around this CPU die using some of my old thermal paste to protect it from liquid metal if it ever leaks out. And the temperatures were almost similar to that we have tested without anything applied. But in future, I will definitely replace it with some conformal coating.